So I'm going to show you how to enter in grades for a semester. So I'm in a teacher grade book and I'm in G3. And in G3, I'm going to go to grading and go to score sheet. And this is where I have my student names listed and the letter grades. So I'm going to click on the letter grade and this is where I'm going to enter in the uh, letter grade and the percent. Uh, and then go through student by student by student. But this only does G3. Um, we now have semester one into the mix. So I have two options. Option one is to change it to semester and do the exact same thing. Your semester grade and G3 grades need to match. So you can either go through and enter them in G3 once and then enter them again in semester one once for the same class. That's option one. Again, they should match. Option two is to change the grade setup so that it automatically calculates your semester grade for you. So if I go to settings, and do traditional grade calculations. I want to go over here to semester one and I want to edit that. And when I edit, instead of it being total points, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do term weighting and I only want it to be G3 at 100%. So what this means is, is that the G, whatever I assigned or give in there for G3 will automatically, uh, that attribute will automatically get applied to the semester grade as well. So I would tell it to save. So it would then automatically calculate semester one's grade based on whatever I put in G3. So when I give a grade in G3, it should automatically put that same grade in semester one. I have to, again, do this to all classes. While I'm in here, I could also choose to do S2, same thing. S2 should match G6. So you would do the same exact process, except you would set that to be G6 for semester two if you wanted to do it that way. So again, whichever way you choose to do is up to you, but either one uh, would give you the same uh, result as far as your semester grades matching your uh, G3 grading period.